So recently here on my channel, I reviewed this monitor. This is the BenQ SW272U, which is a 4K 27 inch display designed for photographers and for you know, photo editing in general. And if you would like to check out my thoughts about this display, the pros and the cons of it, I will link to that review down below in the video description. I'll put a link up here as well. But when BenQ provided me with their new display for that review, they also sent me their new light, which is what you see up here. This is the BenQ screen bar halo. This light is an updated version of the older uh, screen bar plus, which is, you know, the light that you see here. This is the one I've been using for like the past, I don't know, like three years. I've been using one for quite a while. And I'll tell you what's new and what's updated and different in just a moment. But I bet right now some of you are probably wondering, like, is it just a cool thing to put in your in your videos for YouTube or, you know, does it serve some practical purpose? Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I can speak for myself and tell you that um, I really enjoy using these screen bar lights because they solve a problem that has always, well, really like two problems that has always annoyed me about, you know, lighting like in my desk area, like my workspace area, the place where I'm editing photos, the place where I'm, I'm editing videos. You know, I want to have some light, some ambient light, you know, in the workspace where I'm working, but I don't necessarily want like, you know, a desk lamp, you know, something hanging over me, you know, this way or uh, or a table lamp or something like that. And then it gets really weird with like the color temperature of the bulbs, because then I have to get like LED bulbs for the lights and then, you know, change their colors on my phone or whatever. Then it also gets weird having like light coming from one direction, like either I have a lamp over there or over there. And then everything feels a little out of whack because the light isn't centered. The screen bar fixes all of that because with the screen bar, the light is centered. It is like, you know, right here in the center of the desk on top of the display, right where I'm looking. It's perfectly symmetrical, perfectly balanced, and you can adjust the color temperature. You can adjust the brightness and you do so using this little uh, wireless puck. And I'll just quickly demonstrate it for you by tapping on the uh, the temperature icon on the on a little puck here. And if I turn the wheel all the way to the left, it then turns into a tungsten light. It gets rather warm. And then if I turn it back to the right, well, then it gets cooler. And generally I like eyeball it and I just leave mine like, you know, like a notch or two above uh, its coolest setting because then it's, that seems to be the most neutral, like somewhere right around like 5,600 Kelvin, something like that. And then to adjust brightness, I tap on the little uh, sun icon on the puck. And if I turn the wheel all the way to the left, it dims all the way down, turn it all the way to the right, and it comes all the way back up. The reason it's called Halo is because this one has an additional second light back here in the back, which is fantastic. I really like having that light back there in the back because as I'm sure some of you probably know, having some kind of ambient light um, like around your display or around your television or behind your television, it's better because it helps relieve eye strain because then your eyes aren't working as hard when you have like a bright display in a dark room and there's no other ambient light around you. It's good to have a little bit of ambient light just to help balance things out a little bit and, you know, keep your eyes, you know, keep, keep you from taxing your eyes so much when you're spending a lot of time in front of your display. Now, if you just want light in the front or just want light in the back, you can switch between them. There is a mode button down here. So you're able to, you know, choose which lighting you want. And this is something I find myself actually using quite a bit because sometimes I just don't really need or want light here in front but I do want to have some ambient light behind the display. So I really like being able to change between front and back or just turn both on at the same time. Oh, and I forgot to mention the puck for uh, the new screen bar Halo is wireless, as you can see here, which is a big improvement over the older screen bar plus, which had, you know, this thing here. Unfortunately, um, BenQ made the decision of using disposable batteries. Uh, this one uses three AAA batteries to control and to, and to power these pucks. I think it would have been nicer had they used, you know, rechargeable lithium batteries with like a USB-C port or something so it could be charged. Similar to like what you can do with a mouse. I think that would have been a nice feature. The screen bar Halo also has an auto lighting mode and that is uh, this option down here at the lower left. And when you tap on that, the light uh, senses the ambient light that is in the room around you. And there is uh, a sensor actually up here at the front of the light and it reads the ambient light that's in the room around you 
and then it sets an appropriate uh, an appropriate brightness level to complement the lighting that you already have. I think it's kind of a nice feature. I think it's cool to have. Um, I never use it because I just always like to set my own. But one of the cool things that BenQ added uh, to this light is that now there is a favorites option. So if you get a particular configuration that you like, whether that's light in the back or light in the front or both, and a particular color temperature and brightness that you like, you can save all of those settings by doing a long press on this heart icon. All the other icons will flash, and when they're flashing, you just let go. And then those settings are saved as your favorite, so that if you make some adjustments or someone else changes it, um, you can just come in, tap that heart, and you're back uh, with the settings that, that you like. And to turn it on and off, of course, there is a power button uh, right in the center of the puck. You just tap that, and it turns on and off. And the design of this puck, I think, is... Uh, a notable improvement over the older model, which, you know, just it was fine. I mean, it just looked a little a little clunky. It wasn't bad, but this one's definitely more elegant looking and it looks really nice on on the desktop because it's backlit. Uh, the light turns off after a few seconds, so it doesn't waste battery. Everything is just very clean, very minimal, very simple. As far as uh, powering the light goes, the screen bar halo is powered via USB, uh, USB A specifically, like this one here on the old uh, Plus model. And you can plug it into the back of your display. You can plug it into the back of your computer. Uh, I have mine plugged into the back of the computer because I found that the USB A ports on this BenQ monitor here, uh, I think they were a little underpowered for the light. If you happen to you know, get one of these lights and if you plug it in and it starts flashing, and this is something that happened to me a couple of times, it means it's not getting sufficient power. Apparently it needs about five watts of power from the display, so if it's not getting it, uh, it's going to start flashing and it's not going to work properly. So if you see that, just plug it into your computer like I did and it should then work perfectly fine. As far as cons go, I mean, the only thing I guess to be aware of is that, um, is that you know, if you frequently rotate your screen you know, from horizontal to portrait orientation, um, you're going to have to move the light each time. You know, that may be something to think about. The other con being if you have a hood, like a, you know, like if you have a BenQ display like I do or a, or a monitor from some other manufacturer that has a hood around the outside of it, the light is not going to work with the hood, which makes sense because, you know, hoods are, you know, intentionally made to block light, you know, so that, um, so that you're reducing the amount of light that you're seeing when you're working on the screen. So you kind of have to make a choice. Uh, if you're a BenQ user like me, whether you work with the light on top or whether you work with a hood. So overall, I think the screen bar halo is awesome. I really like the light that it outputs. I really like having this ambient light, you know, in front of the display and behind the display as well. And that backlight is a notable improvement over the older plus model, which I was perfectly happy with uh, before. But now I don't have to stick like a separate set of you know, LED lights on the back of the display to get that that back glow on the on the screen. Now it's just all, you know, in one package, which is really nice. And I also like the fact that, you know, the control puck for it is now wireless so I can move it around the desk anywhere I want. No more of these, you know, messy cables, this kind of stuff hanging down and it really helps with cable management and just cleaning up uh, the desktop. Thanks to BenQ for providing me with a screen bar halo and their latest uh, display for review. I greatly appreciate it. And if you would like to check the current price for the halo, uh, I have provided a link down below in the video description that you may use that links out to all of the major online retailers so you can find the best price online. Thanks for being here, everyone. I will see you next time.